Hello all, welcome in this video session. Today I will learn how to create the advanced purchase order with respect to purchase requisition. Okay, so for this, I need to explain what is the meaning of advanced purchase order or contract. Business needs should be defined through a requisition. If the requisition needs to be converted into contract, then it can either be created with respect to requisition or request for quotation supplied by different different vendor getting here we will find how to create the contract or apo with reference to purchase requisition getting my points a contract or apo establish a long term agreement with the vendor to supply material or service contracts may either be value contracts or quantity contracts value contract have a selling value contract have a ceiling that is the monetary amount that should not be exceeded okay so you should not exceed the amount okay a quantity contract specify a ceiling of goods or services that the vendor will provide to us okay this procedure outlines the steps involved in creating a standard quantity or value contract in r3 for stock material contracts do not specify delivery dates this is determined when release orders like purchase orders are issues against the contract once you issue the purchase order to the vendor then the delivery dates and all will okay some tips is there by providing as much input information as possible when creating contracts the user can save time by minimizing the inputs at the time of the order release by selecting the purchase requisition all the data will get copied over to the screen okay so how to create the purchase order uh, advanced purchase order or contract so we need to follow the sap menu path here like uh, go in the logistic tab okay go in the logistic tab go in the material management go in the purchasing okay select the outline agreement click on the contract and how to create the contract this change the contract this display the contract this maintain supplement this release the contract using this here click on this or me31 put in the command window okay two options reference to request for quotation or refer reference to purchase requisition and here you need to fill the vendor code okay need base purchase requ need base apo i just want to create because the purchase requisition is need base okay purchase organization you need to select from the drop down decentralized purchase organization okay mm okay and with respect to purchase requisition okay this is our purchase requisition 4006655116 okay so here you need to fill the plan code 3002 okay and click on the continue button okay here you need to maintain the validity start validity in so contract start date and contract end date uh, we are just creating july august september october november december so 31st 12 2021 here i am inclusive this dates okay validity start date okay so targeted value is just 10 rupees this value is just for the difference and test purpose okay okay so you can fill the uh, all the record which is available here okay like uh, quotation date your reference your reference supply vendors and all okay so the next i have go to the reference to purchase requisition okay enter the proper purchase requisition click on the enter okay date of the contract agreement numbers and all you need to fulfill okay now 
okay so fill the record here validity start validity in enter the targeted value enter the advanced purchase order number and all okay here you need to a b c test vehicle 2020 21 approving a 30 hrms number pbg amount and all and the reference circle my circle code is 1030 you can choose your circle code from the drop down okay getting my points just click on the enter wait for while okay it's already is this then 1 2021 22 okay you just update this apo file number this apo file number is a apo in through which file this apo approved by the competent authority in e office are in manual file okay generally you know in e office they can uh, approve this record okay now the next step is to select this line item adopt plus details okay select this line item and click on adopt plus details okay okay click on this see here you need to maintain that tax code what is the tax code okay you can because the vendor is outside the uh, plant location outside the gst location so igst 5% i need to this is just for the reference okay i repeat again this is just for the reference purpose you can maintain as per the supply uh, on gst applicable on your services and all okay i am just maintaining ii or ij and all getting you can acknowledgement number vendor materials and all the records you will maintain here okay getting my points targeted quantity is one net price is one because all these things will pick up from the will pick up from the purchase requisition record okay so i have pick up this data as per the purchase requisition record getting my points so i need to check the services is all the services will adopt in the advance purchase order or not click on this services tab see this services is applicable here uh, this is service number quantity gross price co and cost center and all all the values will pick up from here okay now go back this is the account assignment tab select this and click on this account assignment tab this is the zl account this is cost center which is i which i have already made in the purchase requisition okay this is the release documentation this is the delivery address this is the item text you can type text here vehicle hiring service vehicle hiring service apo okay getting my points you can click on the long text screen so you need to fill more data here okay 
so as per the tender guidelines terms and condition of the company for this tender and work what is the nature of the supply of the services what is the uh, liquidity damage if you are not able to supply the services or material on this date okay so what is the penalty charges and all please maintain all the things which you want as per the tender and company guidelines okay so i again back delivery address and all what is this item conditions okay this is the gross price okay you can already maintain in the purchase requisition additional data if you want to maintain any additional data or want to do please delivery time priority vendor season points okay like uh, self life and all if you want to maintain you can maintain okay and uh, item details okay this is the tracking number and waking vehicle hiring services and tax code and all okay so i repeat this is the release strategy because the purchase a advance purchase order in initial mode okay this is the partner function this is the vendor address if you need to win, maintain the vendor address you can maintain here okay okay because the vendor address is already mapped in our sap records okay do you want to save the document first i need to document save first okay click on the s if all the record is maintained once you click on the save advance purchase order is created 52000309307 okay this is our advance purchase order number with respect to purchase requisition i have created okay so you need to approve this contract or advance purchase order through workflow okay and if not possible to the workflow then you can uh, release this advance purchase order through alternate method in the next next video session i will give you the idea how to approve the advance purchase order in this sap method okay thank you all for watching this video have a nice day